Hello, how are you doing? This is going to be a love reading, okay? For you and the person on your mind, it's collective reading. You can be any zodiac sign, okay? Okay, so I just want to clear the energy really quick. Let's see what's going on in the love for you. You have the seven of swords and you have um, the eight of wands. So, you know, you could feel like there's somebody who has been communicating with you that is not trustworthy. They weren't trustworthy in the past. And you could be thinking about that. The universe is trying to tell you that someone isn't trustworthy, that this person is not someone that, you know, has your best interests at heart. They're holding back information and they're greedy here. Maybe that's something that you're used to in love and you're wanting to change that here. Yeah, it's like you're tired of being disappointed and you're wanting some kind of a change. Um, so let's see more about this. Now the Emperor. There is amazing opportunities for success right now. Amazing opportunities. More than ever before, the world is, you know, going to shit <laughs> more than ever before the world is just sucking and things are getting worse and things are getting worse but more than ever before things are getting better now if you think about it on this planet the amount of people that are working hard compared to the amount of people that are living a life of luxury it's very different you know and all that the difference is, is your mindset. So there is so much more wealth available than ever before, right? But there is also so much more loss available than ever before. Because as we increase the amount of money that is uh, available to us, we also increase the amount of loss, right? But which one you get is of your choosing. And so more and more people are becoming empowered because people are tired of working so hard and feeling like they're hitting a brick wall, hitting a brick wall, hitting a brick wall. And it takes so much strength to just get through the day and to just be there for yourself. Disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. Well, all of those disappointments were blessings in disguise because they taught you to look to the divine. They taught you that you could be more, that you could be anything, that you could have everything, and that you can have a person to share it all with. So this is the change that's happening here, that's coming in. Look at now you have the Ace of Cups, and now you have the Nine of Cups. Someone's sure of themselves, sure of their feelings, someone established in this life, someone that is a catch, someone that is a great person. There are great people everywhere. So many people are talking about, oh, you know, it's a nightmare out there to be single and to be dating. That's It's an absolute nightmare. It's so hard nowadays. It's so hard right now financially. It's so hard. And the, all of those things can be true, but it can also be very easy. It can also be you deserving, you allowing. It can also be there are so many great, loving, amazing people, abundant people, optimistic people. For you to be around and this is something that is changing for you in your own life big time big time changes yeah the way that it has always been these limiting beliefs you're changing them okay now we're gonna see now we're gonna see this This is going to be your energy, uh, the person on your mind's energy. How do you see them? How do they see you? Your actions, their oh, two of cups. Beautiful. Beautiful. To, you know, you really in alignment with your higher self. You're attracting somebody else who is also in alignment with your higher self. You've never had somebody in love on your level. 
we really never have and this is what is changing this is what is so beautiful you know there is something here um the jersey shore okay and this is like a really really old episode way old <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you ever watched the show. It doesn't really matter to get this example. But Pauly D, you know, one of his exes comes out with them. You know, they go out, they party. That's what they do. Okay. So they go out and they party and one of his exes happens to be there. And one of the other guys that he lives in the house with is like knowing fully well that this is his ex. Going up to her, approaching her, trying to, you know, be with her. Okay and um kind of you know it kind of goes against the whole bro code thing like really you want to you know if somebody is your friend you don't want to try to get with someone that they have been before with before you know unless this is true love or something i mean come on you know so um the girl goes up to Polly d and she tells him this and his response is in the confessional He's like, you know, I'm not surprised that she came over and she told me this because, you know, she's somebody that I used to date and I would never, you know, date anyone um, who isn't a great person. So, yeah, she's a great person and she like let me know about this and I appreciate that about her. You know, like he had nice things to say and I think this is very interesting because I don't feel like you've ever dated somebody like that before because... You, you're seeing yourself now in the way that you're supposed to see yourself in the way that the divine sees you. And that's why you have the two of pentacles here and you have the high priestess because the high priestess is getting the download from the divine. And so now this is like your old reality and this new reality that you know. And this is shifting, shifting, shifting to be more and more what it is. And you're meeting somebody else who is right there with you. So this is a really beautiful thing here. Okay. This is, could be something where this is built on a solid foundation of friendship here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Queen of Wands, and then you have the Knight of Wands. So this is something that, you know, there's something here that you're focused on. This could be bettering yourself. This could be, you know, living a healthier lifestyle because you deserve it. This could be manifesting, uh, monetizing your dreams. This could be a freedom that you want to explore, something that you want to go do, something that you want to express, something creative here. There is something here where breakthroughs are happening for you the knight of wands represents breakthroughs and the queen of wands represents you know this creativity this boldness and the eight of pentacles is the dedication to that so there's something here that you're dedicated to that's going to start to take off for you now and this is like the energy that you're in it's like the world hasn't seen the real you the world is about to see the real you and this is really amazing here and this is because you um realized your own worth and you made changes where they needed to happen so Now, this is interesting. You have the Five of Pentacles, or they have the Five of Pentacles, the Three of Swords, and the Emperor. Wow. This could be a person where they've experienced their share of heartache. They've experienced their share of being left out in the cold. This could be a person that is very self-made. You know, they were a person that, you know, they were very, they're very compassionate. But I feel like, you know, you have to learn if you're going to be, um, empathetic, if you're going to be compassionate, you know, being an empath or whatever here, you know, there is a way to do that, that where it's healthy and you build yourself up and you build other people around you up. But there is a time when this can control you and you are a prisoner to other people's emotions, other people's problems to heartache that is all around this earth <laughs> and you can be overwhelmed by this and you can also be empowered by this and it can take some time to learn to use this to switch it because especially because very compassionate people in past you know you're always thinking about everybody else so you have to think about yourself 
to in order to do this. And when you think about yourself and you put yourself first, you actually are helping other people in this way. But it's a flip. And that's the thing is the five of pentacles. There is a church here where you are going in to help yourself. So there is a person here who has, you know, made some real changes here in their life. And it feels like they have built themselves up and they're ready for something now. They're ready for love now. I don't feel like you have a history with this person. You know this person because you don't have cards of heartache here. So... I just don't get that energy, okay? Uh, how do you see this person? You have the, do you have the four of wands here? You have the four, you have the seven of swords. This is very interesting. You see this person as a new beginning. You see this person as someone that you could commit to and it could be amazing, but you also see them as someone that's very capable of breaking your heart <laughs> with the seven of swords. Like, oh yeah. This could be this new beginning. I have to take this leap of faith and this could lead to a commitment. This could lead to, you know, everything. But this could also lead to, you know, they could have my heart. <laughs> so they could take it and stomp on it or we could build a beautiful life together. <laughs> but that's love. You know, that's the risk in love, you know. So this is how you see this person. You see this person as very adventurous. You see this person as someone that you could build a life with. You see this person as somebody that has the potential of breaking your heart. But here's the thing. It wouldn't be a beautiful, loving connection if, if that wasn't the uh, an option. Th that's an option. But that doesn't mean you have to choose that option. And you're starting to see that here. You are seeing that here. You know, these are all yellow cards. And this is all positivity. So you see this person as, you know, an optimist. You see this person as, you know, they shine. Th this is a person who, you know, they have immense value. They have immense love. They make every situation better and brighter. You know, you have a lot of yellow up here as well. So you see this person as a reflection of yourself. You see this as, okay, you know, I'm going to take this leap of faith here with this person and we could build and have everything together. But there could be a small part of you that's like, I don't know if that is really an option because I feel like you've never experienced this before. And the brain likes to go back to what is familiar. You're making something else familiar here and... When you start to do that and you start to develop feelings and you start to see everything, your mind can sort of try to shift back to this. Um, but I feel like that is going to be overruled by you. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh, how does this person see you? Ten of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Judgment card. This person sees you as everything. They see you as this new beginning, as this beautiful, you know, family, as, you know, they can build a life with you. This person sees this new opportunity. And this is what's so interesting and that how, why I love judgment being here so much is because this person has went through heartache. They have went through, but they see with the five of pentacles, this is about you seeing that you're creating your own problems for yourself. And that can be a harsh thing to hear and to face and to deal with. And we all deal with that at times. You know, if you can't step outside yourself and say, hey, maybe I'm the problem here. Doesn't mean you deserved all of that betrayal and that it is your fault. It means that maybe there are some changes that you could make so this doesn't happen anymore. Right. And this person has done that and they see you. Because these people are coming up out of the coffin here. So they see you as someone who has done this as well. Just like they have done this. And so they see this union as the two of you being a very perfect match for this new life. 
you have made a new lifestyle here for yourself and you this person has made a new lifestyle for themselves and they see you as a match to this new lifestyle to this new life to this person that they are okay and this is they see this as a commitment they see this as a spiritual union as well you have the angel here and you have the hair fit here so this is something that they see as divinely guided to be in your life this, you know, they see building a family here with you and this being a beautiful, emotional fulfillment. Every day is just joy and love. Yeah, they see the whole thing with you. Wow. Okay. What are your actions here? You have the Five of Wands. You have the King of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles here. So there's a little bit of a battle within you between the old, the old ways. The old ways are resurfacing. There's some fears that could come up. There could be some comparing this person to other people, which is a natural thing to do. And this is you pausing and stepping out of your side of yourself and realizing, am I doing what I have done before in the past? Do I want to do that, continue to do that in the future? And how do I want to proceed forward here? So there is something here where you're kind of playing around with your traditional ideals and what new you want to plant and create in your life because there's like these fields here to be planted and he's stopping here he has the seeds he has the knowledge that is what this feather is about and so it's just a matter of doing it having the resources pausing before and pausing and reflecting and this is something that is important to do this is an important thing to do is to stop and to pause and to check within yourself and to step outside of yourself and see things and to ask from the divine. And then when you feel this certainty within yourself, then you proceed forward here. This is how you build something that lasts. And this is something that is going to continue to happen in relationships where you check within yourself before you didn't check within yourself. You just gave 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 and it wasn't right a person that values you is not going to mind you pausing and checking within yourself they're going to respect your own pace because they are sure they're not going anywhere and checking within yourself is you being healthy and this person respecting that is them being healthy and this is how you build a healthy relationship to gather instead of I need this from this person in order to be happy you're each within yourself within yourself secure and this is how you come together and you build something that's going to last and stand the test of time so this is interesting you could be facing conflict from people um, that don't want you to be with this person for whatever reason as well. This can also represent being very close-minded and the way that things have always been done. And this could represent like family and stuff. So this person, you know, could be very different from you and different from what people were predicting for your life for whatever reason. Um, so that could have to do with it as well. And just... You're not going to get involved in that kind of drama. It could be another person that, um, you know, interprets things in, an, in a negative way. <laughs> and you may kind of already know that about this person. But for some reason, you know, when they say things, it can don't allow this to get into your mind. Right. Because there is a person here that it feels like, you know, they want to interpret things as negative because this person does have a past. So maybe this is somebody else that knows this person and is like trying to say, oh, you know, they're like this, they're like this, but it's not actually the case here. So this could be an ex of yours or an ex of theirs 
or it's someone who just knows the both of you because you two could be friends and know each other in some capacity because judgment is like a coming together where there was an opportunity but it didn't happen but i feel like you're coming to see that that was a benefit because there were still things that you were working through and that they were working through so let's see about them You know, you have the, they have the Ten of Wands here, the King of Wands and the Three of Cups. So this person is putting down, um, it feels like they're putting down whatever is holding them back. The King of Wands is a person that moves forward. They're ready to move forward. They know what they want and they're going for it here. Okay, so this could be something where you and this person see each other out somewhere and this is when this person is going to come forward here. They could be putting down this burden of what other people think, putting down this burden of going out anymore. This is not what this person cares about anymore. They could have a friend group where it's like, yeah, you know, I think we've all experienced this where you have friends that it's like, yeah, you have a lot of fun with them, but are they good people? Like, their moral compass is just, you grew and they didn't grow. And so, you know, so this could be um, this people that are trying to get in the middle of you guys. And this person is like not going to listen to this. They're not going to listen to this. They're not going to follow that. They're going to move forward here. This could be like... Um, People are trying to get in the middle here, but there is a wise person that it's like sees that you're a genuine person. So these people could be going to this person and trying to deter them from going towards you. Not going to happen. Um, you know, the king of wands doesn't listen to anyone but himself. Sorry. <laughs> get over it. You know, like that's the way that this is. But there is something here that this person is moving away from, leaving behind. And this is like... Um, they're not going to be tempted to go back into what got them into this energy. That's the thing. And I feel like that had to do with the people that they were hanging around with. This person has made a lot of changes and they're not going to let anybody come in between this union here. This is someone that's very bold. They're very sure of what they want and they tell you this. They let you know this. They're not going to be deterred by other people and what they say. So I wouldn't worry about that. This could be a Taurus person. This could be a Leo or an Aries person. Yeah, really, that's it. I mean, you do have, um, you know, you could say um, Capricorn, um, Virgo, or Taurus here. But this looks really beautiful. Okay, let's get like just a little animal card. This feels like you're not looking for it and it just kind of happens. Starfish Spirit open to infinite possibilities yeah and the starfish can regrow their limbs so there is something here about you know the both of you have rehabilitated yourself in some you know really inspiring way so this is really amazing lizard spirit dream the world into being there's a lot of people that are going to try to convince you and this person that this is too good to be true and they're just wrong <laughs> and i feel like also the lizards you know if you like lizards, we have these kind of little lizards here. And it's like if you um, like if a cat or something grabs their tail, their tail will fall off and they run away and they regrow their tail. So just like the starfish, you guys are really mirroring each other. Whereas like maybe each of you had a very difficult past relationship. And so other people could be like, oh, look at their relationship. It was so horrible. So they must be so horrible. Well, it's like, you know, you went through difficulties in relationships and you're not horrible. You know what I'm saying? This is not about what happens to you. This is about what you do with it. And each of you have regrown. So this is a beautiful connection. And the salamanders that are all on this um, cloud.
cloak here that's very interesting. Wow. And you have stars, you know, the pentacle, all in the pentacles. So this is um very beautiful, very a lot of mirroring energy here, back and forth. So yeah, okay, beautiful. I'm so excited for you. Let's see if there's anything like any like advice. Or anything. Wow. Yeah, it's breaking away from people. You could be invited to go out to do something. And if you've been working really hard, yeah, take the break and go out and blah, blah, blah. But anyone that doesn't ex like um, respect your freedom, um, you know, and these newfound ideas and everything that you have, ugh, screw them. But I feel like there's going to be some t opportunity for you to go out and celebrate. And this is like a new experience. It can be with new people or going to a new place where you're going to meet a new people. So, yeah, you're very dedicated here. And it's important to take a break every now and then and enjoy um, because that is when this is going to happen. You have the Eight of Wands and then you have the Knight of Cups. That's when this is going to happen, when you're putting yourself in this new kind of uh, energy. And that's the thing. It's like when you walk through a doorway, you're walking through a portal. Right. It's like you walk into a new room. There's a new thought that you have when you go somewhere and you're in this new space. You know, you enter a coffee shop. Now something there's new mindset. There's new things going on. So going to new places. This is inspiring um, new things to come into you, to come to you. <laughs> to come to you. <laughs> All right, we're just going to end it there. <laughs> we're going to end it there. Thank you so much. I hope this resonated. If it did, please like and subscribe. <laughs>